and a three and a two and one. <laughs> Boom! We're live. It is the Martin Fowler Scrum. Uh, it is a Thursday. Uh, Sam and Raul and Pat and Matt and Lara are here. Um, so I've just been reviewing local support uh, pull requests. Um, yeah, something I've been meaning to get around to. So quite pleased that we've got upgraded to Twitter Bootstrap 3, uh, which is looking good for us. Other things need to be done there, but uh, great progress from Piotr. Um, yesterday, I was it was a DevOps day. It's all about DevOps. Uh, I've written a blog post about DevOps this morning. I do have a conference talk to give you, a Dev DevOps conference um, next Thursday. The future is DevOps, apparently. Um, yeah, it was all website one DevOps yesterday. Oh, local support DevOps, trying to get local support onto Dree with their new GitHub integration. Uh, Main thing was uh, working out this uh, Twitter YouTube gem issue uh, on staging. I think we have a, a way forward for that, not not blocked by that. Um, yeah, I, the key thing I think is, you know, I've got to keep churning away with Dree, and I must get my DevOps conference talk written, um, as well as working out a way to double the number of premium members and, and, and uh, just make the whole charity thing sustainable. That's me. Um, first in was Lara. Let's go to Lara. How are things with you, Lara? Okay, thanks. Um, so, as uh, I was just saying to Raul, I'm very proud of myself because I've now set up my computer, I've set up Rails, I've set Ooh. up Ruby, Ooh. except I hit a blocker because one gem wasn't installing. I hit that blocker last night and then Raul just helped me now to say, you haven't installed Postgres, so <laughs> I have to install that now and then hopefully I am finally good to go. So. Um, after I've installed Postgres, I'm just going to make sure I've got the latest version of MIT Plus. I'm mm -hmm. going to run my few tests, and then I will submit my pull request. Sorry, I didn't realize this would take so long. Um, and then I've got we've got that meeting with Thomas on Visualizer mm -hmm. in about two hours, I think. So uh, that's all for me. No blockers for now. Great. Uh, thanks, Lara. Uh, going on to, I'm not sure who was next. Let's go. Let's do Matthew. Hey, Matt, how are you doing? Well, good. Um, yeah, I'm working right now on the uh, Twitter uh, bug. Mm. I replace uh, checking the duration of the video with uh, checking the start time of the stream. And mm -hmm. a little trickier than I thought because there's two tweets. There's when, it, there's when the stream starts. And if it can't, tweet that then it tweets at the end when the video is done mm -hmm. well there's two different cases okay. uh, so i gotta there's a little logic in there that i'm mm -hmm. working on so i think i'm almost done with that but i um i'll probably create a hangout to work keep working on that and if i have any other questions i'll i'll let you know sounds good sounds good i think that's yeah, that's it for me. All right, great stuff. Thanks, Matt. Uh, going on to Pat. Hey, Pat, how's it going? Good, thank you. So uh, since yesterday, I guess I worked on three different projects of various degrees. Um, on Met Plus, we've got UI stories now underway, um, mm -hmm. both with Hinesh and Arun. Um, you've probably seen that, Laura. If you've maybe you haven't, if you looked at the Waffle story board. So anyway, they're working on those fast and furious. They know that the images are coming. But they're not blocked by that at this point. Um, on the SHF project, the Swedish project, I did a pair of programming session yesterday with Ashley. Mm -hmm. And we reviewed state transitions and business rules associated with membership applications. Mm -hmm. So she's enmeshed in that. And I think she's moving on to updating her PR that implements some of that stuff. So that went well. Mm -hmm. Um, and on the WikiEd project, wikiedu.dashboard, I guess, is the way to put it. I started on a story. Um, yeah. So it'll take me a while to really make traction because to just even do any work on stories, I need to learn a significant amount about React, mm. Google DevTools, the React mm -hmm. tool for Google DevTools, and Wikipedia API for this particular story. So mm. um, that's interesting anyway, so enmeshed in that. Today, uh, for MetPlus, we have a call with Hua at 7, Hua at 7.30 which we'll talk about our strategy for the client meeting. Is that two hours from now? That is one hour from now. One hour from now. I'm glad I clarified. Yeah. Right. Yep. And we have a client meeting midday, my time, to mm. review progress. We'll also hopefully be in a position to talk about budgetary numbers for production. Mm. 
And I got a bunch of review uh, PRs need to review that have been updated. Hinesh has got already a UI story or two ready for review. Sigu updated his PR mm -hmm. that I need to look at as well. And maybe another one or two that I need to look at. We've got about seven pending right now. Um, on SHF, I'll be reviewing Ashley's PR, and I'll probably start another story for the SHF project. And WikiEd, I'll continue on the story that I mentioned. And that's my update. No blockers. All right, excellent, excellent. Thank you, Pat. Look, Lord, what a what a what a task horse you are. Working through all <laughs> Goodness me, uh, Raúl, how are things going with you? Oh, things are okay. Been mainly doing support for Craft Academy students mm. um, yesterday and today. Uh, worked a little bit with Sigur this morning on a project for CA Labs. I submitted a poor well, my poor request on the. Um, the coverage merge, thing. Coverage of merge is, I think, ready. Mm -hmm. Although I just saw that there was a new pull request that was merged before that, so I need to update mm -hmm. that pull request again and um, mm -hmm. yeah, fix that. So I don't know when you plan on merging that, but um, yeah. Yeah, no, and, just, people, and, and maybe I can just do that uh, update through the, I'll just click the update branch so that comes in. Yeah, I'm just uh, so, so what I do is that when in order to run that I sort of like go and change the settings on semaphore to run that specific uh, pull request. Right. Uh, okay. So, okay, so maybe I've broken it, but uh, yeah, okay, right. No, so then yeah, I can I can quickly do that again and fix the, the okay. testing. The good thing is that the coverage has increased by six percent, so that's nice. That's great. That's good to hear. Yes, yes. Well, maybe we will we will get that in. Uh, we, we, I guess we could just go ahead and do that. I, I, I guess we're sort of midway through this Twitter YouTube uh, thing that uh, is kind of on staging. So uh, yeah. Anyway, I, I hope I certainly hope to get. Anyway, it. we can we can we can coordinate on that later on. You can let yeah. me know, and then we'll, Great. we'll make some. Time. Excellent. Well, so, so pleased that you've you've made progress on that. Sounds wonderful. Thank you so much. Um, anything else? Uh, uh, that's anything? all for me. I'll be I'll working with the CS students in the afternoon. Then yeah, low blockers for me. All right, there we go. Um, so, yes, and the other things that came to me as people were talking. Um, so, uh, we've got new, the, you know, new marketing intern. Uh, it's, confirmed, it's confirmed marketing channel. Uh, Marufa introducing uh, her to people there. Um, I guess the action item for me is, you know, we need to get the marketing plan in place with, you know, what are the high-level goals and uh, work backwards uh, from that. So, um, you know, I'm hoping to have... At some point, maybe Marufa will join us in a in a in a hangout. Um, she's actually, I think, she's local in the the UK, so I may meet up with her in person because I, I realize for someone who's not necessarily used to working um, completely online, uh, hangouts may not be the best way to go. Um, yeah, this meeting in so there's a meeting now with a meeting with Pat and and JP. Uh, we'll see about that visualizer, uh, which is an hour later because we're at lunch. And we've I've got meetings at my student school today, so we've had to move the mob programming to tomorrow. But that seems to have been all right for everybody. Um, there we are. I think that's the updates. Uh, we are uh, in time. There is five minutes there. A anybody? Anything else on anybody's minds? Uh, so Laura, were you going to go? No, I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so for the meeting in an hour or so, or 15 minutes, I guess. Um, what we did before, he was on a is on a bus. He's a community mm -hmm. work. We did a hangout, actually, and it worked pretty well for Hua on his phone. Mm. Just turn off video. So mm. we'll, we'll give that a shot and see if that works. Yeah, okay. Cool. Yep. Sound, sound, sounds good. Um, yes. Well, I think that's um, that's everything. Please, everybody, continue to enjoy the um, uh, standard tier for the the, the Slack. It's, 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 I, I'm just it's still sticking in, like, how beautiful that is. Um, yeah. Uh, well, it sounds like there's nothing we need to coordinate. It sounds like Matt's going to be creating a hangout. I'm going to go and get a tea and some bagels, I guess. Or will I go to lunch? Let's see. Um, yeah. Uh, Lara, I guess that talking about, I mean, the, 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 now we've got a marketing intern on board. There's maybe it's a good idea to have a longer conversation at some point about marketing strategy yeah. and so on. I, I know you've got lots and lots of things on your, on your plate. Yeah, sure. No problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Just shout when where when you've got time, mm -hmm. and then we can just coincide a, a hangout. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sounds good. All right. Uh, well, there we go. I think I think I think we're done. I, I guess 
I'm just thinking about, um, we've got a couple of minutes there. Raul, should, should we coordinate this um, test coverage thing now? Is that, um, does it make sense to, sure. to do it together or um, is it best like handled, handled separately? Uh, whatever works for you, I have some time now. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's, 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 since we're there and we're thinking about it, I mean, I'm just looking through the, um, uh, the issue. The, 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 I mean, the, the code changes themselves don't seem, I mean, it, it's, it's all related to tests, isn't it? So, um, yeah, so, was, so all I did today was just, um, just adding the instruction at the top of the spec helper in the um, env file to merge all coverage mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and create the direct task to to do the merge mm. and push to coveralls at the end of the test. Mm. Right, right, right. Yeah. So it doesn't change much. Uh, Whoever is using the thing will still run their test normally. Mm. We'll just have to run the direct task on CI, which will run both Auspec and Cucumber and then push the right coverage result to okay. to, to coveralls. Yeah. And so, I mean, as this relates to the bigger uh, P PR, I mean, the there was a kind of, I, I, I was sort of seeing the four out of seven here. I, I get, oh, right, no, okay. So that's just the, the it's the classification. There's one of the things, I mean, this, this template, which I think some people have used very effectively. The funny thing is, is that by using this mechanism, like these are usually used for to do, aren't they? So when we sort of see it, like we get this four of nine here, Oh yeah, yeah right. I see. Um, which which I, I never had. I, I guess I, I should have probably removed the the, the ones that were not marked. I, I yeah, that 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 might be the thing to recommend to people. Yeah. yeah. Um, and what was the the original problem? Was just, oh, is, it was this is specifically about just having the coverage reported. Right. So before it was just reporting aspect coverage. Yeah. So so now now it's getting the coverage generated by cucumber and the one generated by aspect. And it's mm. merging those two results before yeah. it publishes them to to coveralls. Right, right. Interesting. Interesting question there about about. I mean, I, I mean, I, 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 the sort of almost philosophical question there. We don't spend any time on, but about you know what's the best thing to report? Like uh, the, the, maybe the original problem was that we weren't getting any coverage information from uh, the acceptance test at all. Yeah, it, it, I don't know. Does, it, does anybody have um, strong feelings about? You know whether they should the two values should be reported independently or one is more important than the other. Um, Pat or Matt or Lara. Um, it seems together is more. Yeah. Seems to me, I think. I don't... Yeah, I mean, I I guess there's an argument for like a, like a an ultra strict setup would say that. You want a hundred percent coverage in your R, like assuming that you've got this divide where you're using R spec for unit tests and you're using yeah. cucumber for the. So one of the things, tests. one of the thing that that transpired as we moved on is that we we don't necessarily write um, R spec test for controllers anymore. Everything no. is done from cucumber. Mm -hmm. So like it, it made sense to sort of like merge those two results so that whatever cucumber covers. We yeah. can just join them with uh, whether we cover in uh, in our spec, and, yeah. and have a more accurate result at the end of the day. Yeah, I think that, that that's my definitely my, my my guiding philosophy at the moment is that the you know the the we shouldn't try and achieve a hundred percent coverage with unit tests. Yeah. Um, the, the, yeah, yeah, yes, absolutely. That's the way I go, and it's that ultra ultra strict. You know, try and achieve very high coverage on the fast running. I mean, the, the only thing that now gives me pause for thought is that, and not that we should change, I mean, we'll still merge all of this, I'm just sort of thinking out loud, is this other challenge that we have is that the, the cucumber tests are kind of slow, and it takes 10 minutes or so to run the full suite on um, uh, website one. Yeah. Um, what I wish we had, and I thought I had achieved before Christmas, is like, in our spec, they make it very, very simple for you to get a list of the slowest running tests. You know what I mean? Um, like, you can mm -hmm. set up, uh, I've got the right thing here. I thought I did. I just run the guards. Oh, it's got to there. But when I run, um, I can just do it here. Like so, for example, if I run the um, R spec for things, you can there's, there's a yeah. flag that basically it tells you the top ten slowest um, running items. Um, yeah. And that that that's really useful, obviously, in tracking down you know slow running tests in R spec. Cucumber doesn't seem yeah. to have by default any 
simple way to do that. Um, that I, I did find. I think. Go on. I think uh, Semaphore recently introduced something that allows you to have some kind of metric mm. on your slower test and stuff like that. I haven't looked much into it, but uh, mm. something oh, we could we could definitely uh, check out. Well, that's interesting to hear. Um, yeah. I, yeah, I can I can have a look at it and, and, and see what, what it's all about and how we can set it up for, oh, that sounds great. for website one. Yeah. I did I did find yeah. a little like snippet from a couple of years back that was supposed to do this same thing for uh, Cucumber, but it hasn't been working reliably. So yeah, if Semaphore has a solution for that, that'd be fantastic. Yeah. All right. We'll there we go. Excellent. All right. Well that was just, I added a little bit of philosophical chat just there on the end of the, the <laughs> session. Um Yes, I'm going to go get some kind of beverage, and uh, I hope to see you all very soon. All right. I'll, I'll fix the, the pull request in a moment and get it green again. Wonderful. And you can merge up with that. Thanks, Raoul. All right, bye for now. Cool.